Good morning, it's uh, time to do some, um, do some work in the garden, the sun's out. Uh, so what we've been doing is um, uh, putting some cloches out. It's, get, it's getting colder and colder. Looks like it's going to be a cold winter. So we've got um, put some hoops um, made out of um, plastic water pipe, clear polythene, held down by bricks, and some uh, ball cloches, plastic cloches, but also some posher um, glass ones. And what we're trying to do is. Um, Stop the plants from uh, suffering. Stop the plants from suffering uh, during the winter. They even thrive. They can do it if you put enough. So what some people do is uh, put two, two or more clotches. So what we can do is put um, uh, some plastic ones underneath this plastic here uh, to increase the um, protection. We've got um, right. Mammoth branch leaf. Uh, mammoth branch leak. A um, very high quality leak with extra long blanch, exceptionally thick board flag. Uh, yeah, Robinsons, made by Robinsons. And these are show, uh, they're very expensive, £3.25. At, uh, but uh, they are very big leaks. They are the sort of um, leak that you'd uh, you'd attempt to get shown in a, a village show and win. So, um, let's have a crack on with that. Um, coming home from mid January to early March. Uh, yeah. So what I'm going to do, as I say, um, put them in put them in pots indoors to start them off. Get them germinated. We have um, Elsa Craig, um, exhibition quality, they are big onions they, and they're supposed to have a really good reputation uh, for taste as well. So um, we are saying these, well this is new seed, I, I sowed some old seed last, um, or a couple of weeks ago, but uh, yeah, you can sow them indoors January, February or even December. So that's a um, splendid exhibition variety of golden merit, producing large globe shaped onions with rich golden straw coloured skin. Now let's crack on then. So, what we're doing is uh, using the um, Using the same um, potting compost we were using the other day. Um, so it's a mixture of really good um, compost, no wood in there, no nothing, really fine. Uh, and about a third uh, grit. I'm using uh, pots about this size, and what I will do is I'll, once they've all germinated and grown to a certain size, I'll. Um, I'll uh, uh, transplant to the uh, into the beds into the greenhouse. And the grit is in there for drainage. The um, yeah, so um, I'm going to do several um, pots this size. Uh, start them off indoors in the warm. You know, we say 30 seeds in each one, and then transplant them into the into the. You know, there's a bit of wood there. There's me saying what I was saying, uh, and then tra transplant them into the into the um, greenhouse, into the beds where they'll grow on really quite quickly. Uh, that'll be in the spring, and then we're off to the um, after that to the allotment. So quite thinly. I'm on about 30 on on there. Uh, 
and we put a light dusting of compost over the top. Even though um, uh, leeks are really um, hardy over the winter, they'll stand once they're grown. So next winter, they're standing in the in, in the snow and ice. They're, they're, they're nonetheless, they're not all that hardy when they're young. So they still need cosseting. So just like so, these will be um, indoors. Remember last week I did a thing about my um, planting my shallots in the um, in the greenhouse. As you can see, they're putting on uh, on roots, which is a good sign. Which is what we wanted because it means they can establish. So if you remember, I, I divided up this that big shallot into these little parts, these little cloves. Not the correct word, but nonetheless. So we're starting them off in the greenhouse to give them a head start for spring. Same goes for, um, so you can see a little bit of life in this one here. And there you go. You've got some, um, you've got some uh, roots there. So put that back in again. <coughs> 